In the beginning of the world, there was no fire. The animal people were often cold. Only the thunders who lived in the world beyond the sky arch had fire. At last, they sent lightning down to an island. Lightning put fire into the bottom of a hollow sycamore tree. The animal people knew that the fire was there because they could see smoke rising from the top of the tree, but they could not get to it on account of the water. So they held a council to decide what to do. Everyone that could fly or could swim was eager to go after the fire. Raven said, let me go, and large and strong. At the time the raven was white, he flew high and far across the water and reached the top of the sycamore tree. While he sat there, wondering what to do, the heat scorched all his feathers black. The frightened raven flew home without the fire, and his feathers have been black ever since. Then Hooting Owl and Horned Owl were sent to the island together. But uh, the smoke nearly blinded them, and the ashes carried up by the wind made white rings about their eyes. They had to come home and were never able to get rid of the white rings. Would go. Water spider has black downy hair and red stripes on her body. She could run on top of water and she could dive to the bottom. She would have no trouble in getting to the island. But you are so little. How will you carry no fire? The council asked. I'll manage all right, answered water spider. I can spine a web. So she spun a thread from her body and wove it into a little bowl and fastened the little bowl on her back. Then she crossed over to the island and through the grass. She put one little coal of fire into her bowl and brought it across the, to the people. Ever since we have had fire and the water spider still has her little bowl on her back. The Cherokee are a Native American people historically settled in the southeast United States around Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and East Tennessee. They speak an Iroquois language. The Iroquois language are a type of Native American language. They are known for their lack of consonants. Some people say that the Cherokees migrated from the south around today's India. They began to have the contact with European traders in the 18th century. In the 19th century, white settlers in the United States categorized the Cherokees as one of the five civilized tribes because they had understood culture and technology practices of European American settlers. The Cherokees were one of the first ethical groups to become US citizens. This sticks together with the fact that Cherokees is the largest ethical group in the US with approximately 768,000 people. The Cherokee lifestyle was one very dependent on community. Our ancestors were hunters, gatherers, farmers who lived either in earth shelters or log homes. They had a strong sense of national pride and were very concerned about their morals and religious life. It is important to remember that they were also a matriarchal society, meaning the woman owned everything and the tribal clans followed the woman's lineage. However, the woman had no voice, at least publicly. After people discovered gold on Cherokee land in the state of Georgia, President Andrew Jackson ignored Cherokee land rights eventually forcing the Cherokee and many other tribes to move west of the Mississippi River into present-day Oklahoma. Their lifestyle are affected by all the flight. The Trial of Tears in 1838-39 to are and will always be a wounded bleed. The only contradiction is the value system. The native value system is part of the culture and is based on a strict set of rules that are inflexible. 
And like most Christian type of value systems, where you can be forgiven for a sin, absolution for violation of the value system. The Cherokees ate deer, bears, rabbits, fish, berries, nuts, corn, beans, and some squash. They used every natural resource they could, and they hunted for the food. The Cherokee Indians valued the alphabetical words they made and the buffaloes. Some values of the Cherokee Indians is similar to other people's. When you visit the town of Cherokee, you will find tribal members working as bankers, business owners, managers, police officers, EMTs, school teachers, you have nurses, homemakers and clerks, as well as basket makers and storytellers. Day by day, they continue to balance modern life with Cherokee traditions. Many individuals dedicate their lives to carrying on Cherokee traditions and passing them to the next generations. The Cherokees made a system that seems hard, but actually is quite simple. Many of the elements of the original system remain the same, although some of these elements has been modified. This belief system stays central in mostly every Cherokee's day-to-day -day life. Certain numbers play an important role in the ceremonies of the Cherokee. The numbers 4 and 7 repeatedly occur in myths, stories and ceremonies. The number 4 represents all the family forces also represented in the four cardinal directions. These directions are north, west, east and south. Certain colors are also associated with directions. Traditional Cherokees also believe that after a person dies, his soul often continues to live on as a ghost. Ghosts are believed to have the ability to materialize where some but not all people can see them. Very basic to the belief system is the pre premise that goodness is rewarded and evilness is penalized.